Hey, what's up, guys? You're here with Kirk and Gordon from Pink Dogs, and you are here for your free pick in the last game of the quarterfinals in Copa America. And it is a big one, guys. It's going to be a real screamer on Saturday night, 9 p.m. Eastern Time in Las Vegas, if I'm not mistaken, at uh, the Allegiant Stadium. Uh, between uh, Uruguay and Brazil, two of the top three favorites to win this tournament, uh, they got met up in that uh, quarterfinal uh, other side of the draw. Uh, I think it's going to be an amazing game, Kirk. Uh, Uruguay still undefeated in this tournament, absolutely perfect with uh, three wins. Brazil, one win and two draws. They needed a win against Colombia to avoid Uruguay in the... Uh, in the quarterfinals, unfortunately, that game ended in a 1-1 one -one draw. Uh, but it seems to me that they are playing better and better with every game. I was watching that game against Colombia. They created some great chances. Uh, but unfortunately, once again, they were not effective in that attacking end. And uh, they are coming into this matchup without uh, Vinicius Jr., who is suspended because of the yellow cards. Yeah, no, this is, this is going to be a tough one. I did favor Brazil until... I, until Vinicius is out, but I still think this is going to be a very, very chess match match between two really South American teams that go head to head all the time. This looks like a draw to me here, and I was looking at the pricing. Sometimes you're going to get good prices, sometimes you're going to get bad prices, but here I'm getting it at plus two ten. This just seems like a likely likely outcome for me. So at plus two ten, I have to go with the draw here. I don't have to say too much about these two teams. We both know how talented they are. And unless something really, really special comes from somewhere in one of these two teams, I think we're heading for PKs in this one. Yeah, you know what? Honestly, I'm a bit surprised by the 200, uh, by, by the plus 200, 210 price of the draw in this one. I could potentially see a 1 1 result here, no problem at all, no fuss. But uh, I'm going to say something controversial potentially controversial here. I think that this Brazil team might be a little bit better without Vinicius Jr. Uh, there are a lot of balls, a lot of plays that go on him in every single game. And it seems to me that uh, when that happens, a few good chances get disrupted. And uh, I honestly think that without him, they might be a little bit more direct. And uh, they might be creating a few more good chances per game than, than they usually are with him in the starting lineup. What are your thoughts about that? I agree, but I disagree. I mean, he's one of the top three players in the world probably right now. I, It's hard to say they're a better team without Vinicius, in my opinion. I think he definitely, even if he doesn't play great, he brings that fear factor. You know he's going to run at opponents create problems for the defense. So I think that's a little harsh, but I mean, I guess we'll see. I mean, if they win 3-0, maybe you're onto something, but I, I'm not so sure. Yeah, we'll definitely see. It's going to be a great game. Now, as far as my pick goes, guys, uh, in four of the last five games between these two teams, we've seen at least five cards, and the, the, the line for this game is set to over five and a half at minus 122, which uh, I'm, I'm going to take because, uh, let's be honest, both teams are a little bit on the rougher side in this tournament, especially Uruguay, who likes to rough it up against their opponents. They are aggressive uh, on and off the ball, and um, over five and a half cards at minus 122, I don't think that's, uh, that's too high a line at all. And uh, potentially, I think that there's a big chance uh, for us to see a red card in this game, especially if either team is going to be ahead late in the second half. I think this was going to get a lot, a lot rougher. And uh, with that, I think we see at least six cards in this game. Yeah, no, I definitely agree. I mean, I definitely think we're going to see cards in this one. When two heavyweights from the same continent go at each other. I mean, we saw with Germany versus Spain. There were, I think, 12, 13 cards in that game. I think we definitely see something similar in this one. So, I think it's going to be a chippy game. I really like your pick in this one. There you have it, guys. Uh, hopefully we get a couple of winners uh, out of this pick as well, out of this game as well. Um, like I said, this is the last game of the day in Copa America, the last game of the quarterfinals, but we do have a slate of the MLS games on Saturday as well. Picks for that you can find up in a separate video up on the Pink Dogs YouTube channel. So check it out, subscribe, hit that like button, and check out our best bets in the Pink Dogs preview section or simply by clicking the links in the description of this video. 
uh, sign up and get our best bets for the day, for the next three days, or for the next seven days even. Uh, that's it, guys. Thank you for joining us here. Uh, I hope you have a great day. Watch some great football in the evening, and uh, let's make some money.